Hey everyone, this is Deathclock1637 here. One second. Well, I just centered the camera a little better and myself. Um, this is an update video for the Energy Blade Penance Brand Inquisitor. Uh, I've made a few changes. Um, in the previous POB, which I still have to export, uh, I went to the active skills and made it five brands and then in the full dps it will show some like big number however it should be tuned down to two and i'm going to change that so um the problem is you can only have one active brand attached to an enemy and with rune binder it can be two so in this but in this case i've taken it off for now uh because i want to have uh just like better clear and then it can be like one for one brand to enemy at the moment, and they can just swap to different targets. However, if you're fighting a boss, I would say that definitely Runebinder is 100% absolutely mega worth it. Um, I've also made a slight change of... Uh, I bought the Forbidden Flame and Flesh jewels for Instruments of Virtue, so I specced into that, and I'll have Lingering Regen instead through my maps so that's great um i also uh am going to spec into these nodes in the end and just sort of uh try to clean things up a little bit um yeah that's that's the major things that changed because uh i took three points back and went for gem sockets because i didn't have this one and I took the extra strength here. Um, also, not having Rune Binder does really change the damage output of this build. Uh, because, again, you're only putting one brand on an enemy. It can't be two. So the uh, tick rate changes to basically only one uh, brand at a time until it expires. And then the next one can go on to it. Um, it's worth it to keep in mind that brands are not separate objects, so they're not like a totem where you can place it and not take reflect damage. You are subject to reflect damage, and it can actually still like leech from enemies. So I'm going to open a T10 just for the sake of things being a little bit easier. And uh, just demo the new damage. I've also taken out Flame Dash because uh, Frost Blink is instant. And I added shield charge uh, just for a little bit better mobility. I couldn't get the right socket colors for uh, faster attacks, but in my helmet, I would ideally have that working. So there's a lot of sparks going on here. Uh, I think it dies. Uh, my toughness is better. Nikora. Oh, it's tattoos. Um, I'm going to once again hide my face, just to keep the focus on the uh, build here. As you can see, the clear is better um, than the last update. Uh, my regen should be a lot more consistent. I have more energy shield because I changed a ring out. Um, I am going to be messing with my flasks a little bit to... Uh, even out my elemental resists because they are sadly not capped. Um, that's them right now. Uh, I'm only capped on fire because of the last up time from the core skating elixir. Uh, oops, scarcer. Pick that up. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. This is one brand per one enemy uh, in a map, and basically they're just switching targets. And as I said before, um, that's kind of required for maps because the high damage brand would essentially just, you know, stick to an enemy until it expired. But at least here it's um, picking different targets. And if you want additional brands active, you can definitely change the mastery. Um, the only problem is you will have to uh, think about going possibly into this brand wheel. Um, and then at that point, you can take both the cast the two additional brands and attaches to a new enemy. In which case, you would have five brands active from the default three. 
um, not having the uh, rune biter passive means I could also put a totem out, but I'm not going to. Um, just in case you were thinking about that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, energy leech happening. It's good. Um, my character is doing better than before. Um, I'm still a little bit prone to chaos damage. Uh, the flask up time is a little bit better because I got the timeless jewel and the traitor. Um, I'm getting a decent amount of flask charges because I have two flask slots empty, but I might actually go down to one flask slot empty just for the sake of more armor and probably a uh, armor flask with uh, elemental resists on it during effect just to help me out. Um, yeah, and that's basically uh, where we are. So I'm just going to cap off this map. This boss is going down pretty easy. Again, only one brand attached at a time, which is fine for now. Um, honestly, for the sake of toughness, I would keep Instruments of Virtue as it is for now. And then just get more levels and go back to Runebinder later. Uh, okay, good. Sustained. Um, but yeah, that's kind of overall what you can expect uh, from this build in maps, at least in the more early-ish uh, game. And I'll just move my face over here. Um, the damage from this build can definitely still scale up a lot. Um, I'll show you in the POB that I have uh, updated here. Um, you can also do things like if you really wanted to say that part of your armor applies to a chaos damage taken, although it's not super necessary, um, we're going to leave it as uh, recover energy shield. Um, again, there's compromises you can make in terms of taking this brand wheel instead. Um, I haven't completely figured out about which notes to take out in favor of that so uh give me a little bit of time uh, i might come up with a better arrangement for it or you know just again rejig some stuff here's the timeless jewel i have you can basically use pob to find a timeless jewel um select brutal or saint uh balbala and then i chose the minion instability socket um, some people do actually like put it here, um, and it's certainly an option. Again, if you're not taking Rune Binder, and note that if you only if you're not taking Rune Binder, does that actually work? Because the radius will cover uh, this keystone. Um, yeah. If uh, you have any questions, uh, then definitely uh, leave them in the comments. I'm going to continue working this out. Um, currently, there's only 112 points assigned, but I would like to get up to level 97, which means I would be looking more like that and that. Um, don't worry, there's not any jewel in there. I was messing with some numbers. And then, you know, obviously we could take more HP, uh, get to 119, and do some other stuff there. Anyway, uh, that's it for me for now, uh, because I'll get a little rambly and off track a little bit. Have fun. Uh, hope you like trying it out. And uh, see you in the next one.